Welcome to day seven of Safety Town 2020. It's Officer Wyndham again. Today we will talk about animal safety. The do's and the don'ts when we're around our fur friends. We have our friends at Avery Road Animal Hospital that'll give us tools to handle ourselves when we see our cute little fur friends. Hi, I'm Dr. Kelsey Walker. I'm a veterinarian, which is a doctor for animals. Today, we are going to talk about safety around dogs. It is important to know how to stay safe around dogs. Dogs that you don't know could be dangerous or scared, but sometimes dogs that you know could also be unsafe. To know how to act around dogs, you only have to remember one word, safe. This could prevent a bite or an injury. If you come across a dog who is with their owner, you can ask the owner if it is safe to say hi. If the dog is alone, follow these rules. Stand still, arms crossed, face away, eyes down. If you are standing still, the dog will quickly lose interest. If a dog is chasing you, do not run away or ride your bike or scooter. Instead, stand still, arms crossed, face away, eyes down. If a strange dog approaches you while you are playing on the ground, you can still be safe by acting like a rock. Sometimes accidents can also happen around dogs that you know. It is important to follow these instructions to stay safe. Remember to never wake a sleeping dog. It is important to leave them alone if they're asleep or they're in their space like a crate. If you wanna pet the dog, remember to ask them first. Make sure you're, they are aware that you are there and are interested in saying hi and letting you touch them. Touch softly, be a friend to the dog. And if you want to play, remember to enjoy, but that dogs are not a toy. They're not there to tease them or to wrestle with, Thanks for learning about dog safety with me today. If you see a dog you do not know, follow the rules of safe to prevent a dog bite. Stand still, arms crossed, face away, eyes down. And remember, always ask your parent and the dog's owner first before saying hi to a dog. Hi, I'm Dr. Kelsey Walker. I'm a veterinarian. Dogs are not people and they cannot talk to us to tell us their feelings. Most of the time, they like the same things we like and do not like the same things we do not like. Since they cannot use words to communicate, they could growl or bite to tell you that they are mad or unhappy. It is important to know how to interact with dogs to keep from getting hurt. Do you like it if a friend takes away your food or snack? No, do not take a treat or food from a dog. Should you take a toy away from a friend? No, do not take a dog's bone or toy away from them. Do you like it when someone puts their face right into your face? Probably not. So do not put your face right in a dog's face. It will make them uncomfortable or scared and could even cause a bite. Do you like someone waking you up by jumping on you or laying on top of you? I'm betting not. Never bother an animal when they are resting or asleep. It is a good idea to have a special spot on a blanket, bed, or a crate get, that gives your dog a private spot to rest and sleep. Do you like it when your friend or brother or sister pulls your hair or pokes you? Do not grab a dog's hair, tail, or ears, or tease, or pinch them. They don't like it either. I'm wondering, do you like being stepped on or climbed on? I sure don't. Do not step on, lie on, or climb on top of dogs. It could hurt them. Many people like hugs, but most do not like being pinched. Do not hug dogs. 
Most dogs do not like it and could growl or bite to get away. I hope you liked seeing these examples showing how we should or should not interact with dogs. Even nice dogs can sometimes get grumpy when we do things that they do not like, just like us. Hi, I'm Dr. Walker, and in this video, we are going to look at ways to figure out what a dog is telling you. Since dogs cannot talk, instead, we can look at what they do with their body to figure out how they are feeling. This is called body language. It is important to leave a dog who is scared, angry, or stressed alone. Understanding how a dog is feeling can help keep you safe and prevent a dog bite. These pictures show some ways a dog may show happiness or a desire to play. They might roll on their back with their tail wagging. Their ears are usually calm or up and interested. They might offer kisses. They may do a play bow, and they may have their tail wagging gently or wagging high and quickly, or sometimes they'll just hold their tail relaxed. This picture shows some ways to tell if a dog is feeling scared, nervous, or stressed. It is important to give a dog who is showing these signals space. If they are nervous or stressed, they may yawn, lick their lips, or duck or crouch. If they are angry or scared, they may growl or lunge. The tail could be tucked, it could be held high and straight, or it could be wagging slowly and low or held straight out from the spine if they are feeling nervous, scared, or stressed. Another thing they might do would be look at you with very, very wide eyes so that you can see the white around the outside. Knowing these signals can help determine if you should stay away from a dog or if you could ask to say hi. This picture shows a small fluffy dog. By the way it is looking at you, does it look scared or angry? No, it doesn't. This dog looks relaxed and is interested to see you. It would be okay to ask if you could say hi. Here is a chocolate Labrador. Does he look scared or angry? or nice and excited. He looks scared to me. The wide eyes and crouched posture are a sign that he wants his space and you should leave him alone. How about this cute black and white dog? Does he look happy and ready to play or scared and mad? This dog is doing what we call a play bow. His ears are up and he is excited to see you. It would be okay to ask his owner if you can say hi. Here's a picture of a dog that appears to be barking and growling. What is he trying to tell you? Is he angry or happy? This dog has his ears back and is showing all of his teeth. He looks mad and this is a dog that you should stay far away from. Does this brown and white dog look scared or happy? He has relaxed ears and body and his eyes are relaxed and looking at you. He is telling you that he is relaxed and happy and it would be okay to ask his owner to say hi. I hope that you enjoyed learning about what dogs' bodies can tell us about their feelings. Remembering these things can help keep you safe when you are with dogs.